What's up, math fans? So far, we've been studying logarithms. I hope you saw the quotient rule and the product rule. So now we're gonna learn the what I call the power rule, logarithms of power. So think about powers as an exponent. And I'm sure you've also seen my video on exponential growth. So that kind of comes, uh, that, that's an example of compound interest. And if you've seen compound interest formulas. So the examples I've been doing so far, you already knew, let's say you put some money in a bank and you know how long you're leaving that money in. So you already know the exponent. The exponent is the number of years. But the question is, what if the exponent is unknown? It's much harder to solve for an unknown exponent until you learn the logarithms of powers. So you're gonna see when you see an unknown exponent, x for example, there is a very simple way to solve this type of equation and we're gonna to get to it in a second. First, I'm gonna to try to run through the proof of where the power rule comes from. So here's something that I'd like you to accept and then from this equation, we're gonna to start to derive a formula. So I have base, exponent, answer, just as I've always had when I'm dealing with logarithms. So actually, let's write this as a logarithm. So what's the equivalent of this would be the log base x, right? Base goes here. Uh, my answer now is gonna go here and the exponent is over there. So if this equation is true, you can just rewrite it as that. So now you have another equation. All right, now let's start to play with this thing. So I wanna take both sides and remember, if you have an equation, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides. So I'm gonna raise both sides to the C power, the power of C, all right? And well, if you raise a power to a power, hopefully you know that that's really just multiplying the powers. So here is a new fact. X to the BC power is the same as A to the C power. And well, this is kind of messy, but I'm trying to go somewhere with it. So let's rewrite this fact as a logarithm. So again, log, my base is still X. Um, this is interesting because it looks like two different bases, but we're gonna look at this thing as the answer, base exponent answer. So my answer goes here, and that equals to the exponent goes here, BC. So BC is the same as log base X of A to the C power. All right, uh, does this take me anywhere? I'm not sure, but let me go play with this one now for a second. So again, it's an equation, I can do whatever I want, so what I wanna do is multiply both sides by C. So if I multiply, Actually, I won't do it here. I don't want to confuse you, so I'll do it below. So I have C times the log base X of A equals B times C. So I did the same thing to both sides, so it's still equivalent. Um, I'm pretty much done because if you look carefully, BC is equal to this thing, but BC is also equal to this thing. So by substitution or the transitive property, this thing is equal to this thing. So here is a rule that you should know. Uh, log base x of a to the c is equal to c times log base x of a. Okay, so here's a simple rule. This is called the power rule. And all it says is if you have a logarithm of a power, it's the same as taking the exponent as the coefficient and then the logarithm of just the base. Can you see that? Good. All right, so it's basically taking that C and rewriting it as the coefficient, and that's the power rule in short. So here's an example. Let's rewrite it, just like I said. Rewriting the 16 as the coefficient, because it was the exponent, and now it's times the log base two of just eight. And the reason the power rule is helpful is because eight to the 16 is a huge number that I don't know, so sometimes it's helpful because it gets smaller calculatable numbers. So. Uh, do I know what the log of base two of eight is? Just this alone? If you don't, you can call it X, you know, it's unknown. Um, but basically this is saying two to the what, two to the what power gives you eight, right? Base exponent is unknown. Answer, well, two to the third is eight. So this whole thing value is three. 16 drops down and 16 times three is uh, something. What is it, 48? Check my math, please. And that is a very nice, smooth use of the power rule, okay? Here, I didn't give you actual numbers, just for fun, I wanted to see if you could rewrite that. So, um, I think I can, let me see. Just write the five, as the five as the exponent, it becomes the coefficient, log base b of y, simple as that. So, 
This is just fun by rewriting it. This is an actual value, which was 48. Here, now I wanna solve, and I don't know that, but I can rewrite that. So I'm gonna rewrite that by writing again, the x is the coefficient times log base 10 of three is equal to log base 10 of 100. So now, if you wanna get x alone, even though it looks crazy, this is not a variable. This is an actual number that you can type in a calculator. Same thing, this is an actual number that you can type in a calculator. The only variable is the x. How do you get x alone? You divide by whatever's next to it called the coefficient. So if you divide by this entire coefficient, log base 10 of three, log base 10 of three, you would just simply type this in a calculator and get your result. So this will cancel, x is alone, and x is equal to whatever this divided by this is. Um, I don't have a calculator, but lucky I picked numbers that I could cheat. I know that log base 10 of 100 happens to be two, so that's gonna be two over, I don't know what this is, I think it's about 0.41, something like that, 0.41. So I'm gonna ask you to check my math by typing this in a calculator. Notice the calculator button says log without a base next to it, that's the base of 10. Any other base you couldn't do that, you would have to use a graphing calculator and use a special button that says where well, you can change the base. But for log base 10, you can just hit the log button. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.